Hello students, welcome to another visual arts class with Ms. Clemetson. Today, we will be looking at art criticism. We'll be right back. All right, students, so welcome back. So like I said before, we are looking at art criticism today. But before we get into that, let us figure out what our objectives are for the day. You'll be exploring your classroom with me today. So we'll be walking around trying to find answers to everything. All right. So today's objectives, we will be defining art criticism. We're going to state the four components of art criticism. We're going to explain the first component of art criticism, which is description. We're going to discuss what is to be included in the description. And then after you've absorbed all of that information, we are going to describe a work of art in the next class. All right. So first objective, what is art criticism? All right. So let's go around. So here, what is art criticism? Art criticism is responding to interpreting meaning and making critical judgments about specific works of art. Let me say that again. Art criticism is responding to interpreting meaning and making critical judgments about specific works of art. Art critics help viewers perceive, interpret and judge artworks. So let us break that down. If you are criticizing someone, what are you doing? Let's say you are dressed for a fabulous party and you are ready to go out like Miss Rihanna over here. So here is Miss Rihanna and everybody knows Rihanna, right? So here is Rihanna in two beautiful dresses. If we are going to look at Rihanna and we are going to say, I love that purple on Rihanna. I love that purple against her skin tone. I love the folds in that dress. I love the frill. I love the material. If we're going to look on this snake dress over here, let us walk up to it, come out a little bit and look at it. So if we're going to say, oh, I love that snake dress on Rihanna. I love the textures in the dress. I love how much it resembles a snake. Then we are criticizing the dresses that Rihanna is wearing. So, art criticism, once again, let's go back over here. Art criticism is responding to interpreting meaning and making critical judgments about specific works of art. All right? So, something is placed in front of you and you're going to try to understand it by breaking it apart and stating the facts about the artwork, bringing meaning to the artwork, analyzing the artwork, judging the artwork. So that's what art criticism is all about. Okay, moving on. All right, so let's say now, in, in criticizing a work of art, there are four components involved. These components are one, description, two, analysis, three, interpretation, and four, judgment. All right, students? All right, so what is the description all about? The very first stage, what is the description all about? The description answers the question, what do you see? There should be no analysis, no interpretation, no judgment in this portion of art criticism. You are only answering the question, what do you see? So if you say, if I ask you, what color is the sky? The sky is blue. You, you're not going to tell me what blue means or how you feel when you see blue, because that's not what I ask. I didn't ask you for that aspect yet. I only ask what is the color of the sky and the sky is blue. So you only state the facts. You bring no meaning to the facts. 
Is that clear? Excellent. All right. Now, what is involved in the description? Ask ourselves, what is involved in the description? Okay, so here we have what to include in the description. Name of the artist, year the artwork was created, the type of artwork that it is, the material used to create the work of art, exactly what is seen in the artwork without any subjective statements, meaning do not add your opinion to the artwork at this stage. Example, you're going to say, okay, I see a female figure, a red apple, a yellow comb on a table. You are simply stating what you see without any meaning. So we are finished with this aspect of the lesson. Everything in this room has been explained. Let's go into the next room. So let us try writing a description, but we're not going to do that today. We're going to do that in the next class. All right. So we are going to try and write a description together. But before we do that, look at the artwork that you're going to be critiquing using the description for the next class. Wow. All right. So look at the artist, the artist who did this artwork is George Paz. The type of artwork that it is, still life painting. The year the artwork was created is 2018. The material used is oil on canvas. The size of the artwork is 18 inches in width and 18 inches in height. And these are the information that you will also add to your description. So remember what we said should be included in the artwork? All of these, plus exactly what you see in the artwork. So you will be adding this critical information, plus you're going to tell me exactly what you see in this work of art. So I am looking forward to your brilliance. All right, so we will attempt to write a critique of this still life painting in the next class. And the stage that we're going to focus on is description. Thank you so much for your attention today. You are absolutely brilliant. See you in the next class. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to reach educational services.